Thank you very much, Madam Moderator. Uh, my name is Jordi Villanova, and I speak on behalf of the Catalan National Assembly, a grassroots organization defending the right to self-determination of the Catalan people. Since the 2017 Catalan referendum on independence, the Spanish authorities have unfolded an unprecedented wave of repression against Catalan political representatives, public officers, and activists. Ms. Carmen Furcadell, a former speaker of the Catalan parliament, was jailed for three and a half years for allowing a parliamentary debate on independence. Catalan president, Mr. Kim Torra, was banned from office for hanging a banner on the presidential palace facade, calling for the release of nine Catalan political prisoners, including Ms. Furcadell. European Union institutions have been affected as well. Exiled Catalan President and MEP Carlos Puigdemont and MEPs Carla Ponsati and Tony Comín have seen their parliamentary rights and immunity violated due to Spain, Spain's lawfare. These examples are not the only ones, as dozens of members of the Catalan Parliamentary Bureau, mayors, councillors and other public officials have suffered political repression due to the Spanish lawfare strategy aimed at repressing the Catalan democratic pro-independence movement. Most recently, it has been proved that Spanish authorities used spyware Pegasus against dozens of Catalan MPs, officials and activists in the biggest case of espionage in the history of the European Union. A few weeks ago, the United Nations Human Rights Committee denounced that Spain violated the political rights under Article 25 of the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights of four former Catalan Parliament members by suspending them in 2018 from public duties before their conviction thus violating the political rights of millions of citizens that had voted for them. It is not only political representatives who are suffering Spanish lawfare, but civil society has also been a victim of repression. Since 2017, over 3,000 people have been jailed, fined, prosecuted, barred from office, or are still awaiting trial. Two former presidents of the organization I represent here today have been jailed, one for calling peaceful demonstrations and another, Ms. Furcadell, for allowing a parliamentary debate on independence. This repressive wave against political dissidents is eroding the principles of rule of law and democracy and has been denounced by other international organizations such as the Council of Europe, Amnesty International, the World Organization Against Torture and the Parliamentary Assembly of the Council of Europe. Now, we do recognize that our case is uh, not the worst that have been uh, expounded here um, before the, the um, representatives here. But uh, what is extremely dangerous and a grave jeopardy to Sir, democracy... Could you please come to the end. Yes, the time is already uh, it's a grave de uh, as, uh, um, a menace to democracy is that those democracies who uh, present themselves as being first-class democracies are not in fact so. So for all these reasons, we call on the OSCE authorities to look, uh, stop looking away and request the OSCE High Commissioner on National Minorities to visit Catalonia and report on the situation there. Thank you very much and forgive my um, extension.